Hello lovely viewers and welcome back to the Sip Surrender Sparkle YouTube channel. Today we're going to crack open the spine of Timothy Ferris's revolutionary book, The 4-Hour Workweek. This isn't just any book, it's a manifesto that challenges and redefines the traditional concept of work and retirement. Ferris has thrown the gauntlet down to the status quo, offering instead a life that revolves around your passions and interests, rather than deferring them to the distant future. Imagine a life where you're not waiting for that elusive someday to do what you love. This is the central theme of the four-hour work week. It's a bold proposition, and in the following scenes, we'll explore the key takeaways from this groundbreaking book. So without further ado, let's dive into the practical wisdom and innovative strategies that could help you escape the nine to five grind and design a life you truly desire. Uh, one of the most powerful concepts introduced in the book is the idea of the new rich. But who exactly are the new rich, or NR as Ferris calls them? Well, they're not just individuals with hefty bank balances, they're the people who have recognized that time and freedom are far more valuable than money. They've mastered the art of turning earnings into experiences and moments rather than accumulating them for a distant, uncertain retirement. Ferris urges us to rethink our lives, to step off the treadmill of deferred living, working hard now so we can relax and enjoy life when we retire. Instead, he introduces the concept of mini-retirements. Imagine taking a sabbatical every few years or even every few months filled with adventures, learning and experiences that enrich your life. This is a radically different approach to life and work, one that challenges the traditional path to retirement. Another key takeaway from the book is the importance of outsourcing and automation. Ferris drives home the point that not every task needs your personal touch. In fact, many of your daily chores and work tasks can be delegated or automated, allowing you to focus on what you're truly passionate about. How does one go about this, you might ask? Well, it starts with identifying tasks that can be handled by others. This could be anything from administrative work to more complex tasks. The goal is to delegate these tasks to capable hands. There are numerous platforms that connect you with skilled freelancers who can take up these tasks for you. Next, we have automation. This is where technology comes in. From email autoresponders to scheduling apps, there are countless tools designed to automate repetitive tasks. By leveraging these tools, you can create a business that requires minimal input from you. By doing so, you can free up your time for the things that truly matter to you. Ferris also discusses the 80 20th principle, also known as the Pareto Principle. It's an intriguing concept that suggests a disproportionate relationship between input and output. In other words, approximately 20% of your efforts lead to around 80% of your results. Now apply this to your life. Imagine if you could identify that productive 20% and pour more energy into it. How much more efficient could you become? On the flip side, you'd also identify the 80% of efforts that contribute to only 20% of your results. These are the tasks you might want to delegate, automate, or eliminate altogether. The goal here is to maximize your efficiency, cutting out the fluff, and focusing on what genuinely contributes to your desired outcomes. This principle can help you focus on the tasks that truly drive results, freeing up more time for leisure and passion projects. Another interesting concept introduced in the book is geo-arbitrage. This term may sound complex, but it's actually quite simple. Geo-arbitrage involves leveraging the difference in cost of living between two locations. Essentially, it's about living in an area where expenses are low, while earning income from a region where wages are high. This is made possible by the Internet, which has removed geographical barriers and made remote work a viable option. By practicing geo-arbitrage, you can maximize your income's purchasing power and live a lifestyle that might be unaffordable if you were living in a high-cost area. Imagine residing in a tropical paradise with low living costs while working for a client based in a bustling city with high pay rates. The beauty of this is that it enables location independence. As long as there's internet, you can take your work with you, whether you're in Bali or Buenos Aires. This strategy can provide you with the freedom to travel and work from anywhere in the world. Ferris doesn't just present ideas, he gives readers a practical blueprint for creating a four-hour workweek lifestyle. This blueprint is more than just a theory, it's a methodical guide to achieving a life of minimal work and maximum freedom. 
Here's a brief overview. Firstly, Ferris encourages us to redefine our relationship with work, shifting our focus from time-consuming tasks to those that yield the most significant results. Secondly, he promotes the idea of generating passive income through automated businesses. This approach allows us to earn money while freeing up our time to pursue our passions. Thirdly, Ferris advocates for the adoption of geo-arbitrage, leveraging the cost of living differences between regions to maximize our income and lifestyle possibilities. Lastly, Ferris emphasizes the importance of overcoming fear and taking calculated risks. This involves identifying our fears, understanding their potential impacts, and using that knowledge to make confident decisions. With this blueprint, you can start designing a life that truly aligns with your passions and dreams. Time management is a crucial aspect of the four-hour workweek lifestyle. This statement holds the key to understanding how to maximize productivity while creating more leisure time. Timothy Ferris presents a unique perspective on time management. Instead of cramming more tasks into our already overflowing schedules, he advocates for a different approach. Ferris encourages us to prioritize our tasks, focusing primarily on those that yield the greatest results. This is in line with the 80-20 principle we discussed earlier, where 80% of our results come from 20% of our efforts. So the trick is to identify those tasks that make up the productive 20% and dedicate most of our energy there. This form of time management isn't about being busy, it's about being effective. By eliminating or outsourcing the less productive tasks, we can free up time to do what we love, be it traveling, learning a new skill, or simply spending time with loved ones. By managing your time effectively, you can maintain productivity while enjoying a lifestyle of freedom. Ferris also introduces a technique called fear setting. This is a method designed to help you overcome fear and make challenging decisions. Fear, as we all know, can be a massive roadblock on our path to success. But what if we could use it as a tool for growth? That's where fear setting comes in. Imagine the worst possible outcome of a decision you're afraid to make. How bad is it really? What could you do to mitigate it? Ferris argues that by thoroughly defining our fears and potential consequences, we can better understand them. This understanding in turn can help us to take calculated risks. Fear setting is about facing your fears head on, not running from them. It's about understanding the worst that could happen and realizing that more often than not, it's not as bad as we imagine. By defining your fears and their potential consequences, you can take calculated risks with confidence. The last key takeaway from the book is the importance of continuous learning and experimentation. Timothy Ferris illuminates this by emphasizing that the journey to a four-hour work week isn't a one-size-fits-all blueprint, but a continuous process of trial and error. It's about the courage to step out of your comfort zone, to embrace the unfamiliar, and to learn from the inevitable stumbles along the way. He encourages us to see failure not as a dead end, but as an opportunity for growth and a stepping stone towards success. Every misstep is a lesson learned, every setback an opportunity for reinvention. This philosophy is not just about achieving a four-hour work week. It's a way of life. A mindset that can be applied to any area of your life, from personal growth to relationships and beyond. This mindset can help you grow, adapt, and thrive in any situation. It's about embracing the journey, not just the destination, and learning to navigate the ever-changing landscapes of life with resilience and adaptability. In conclusion, the 4-Hour Workweek is more than just a book. It's a guide to a new way of life. It challenges us to redefine our concept of work, money, and retirement. It introduces us to the idea of the new rich, a lifestyle that values time, freedom, and passion above all. With its focus on outsourcing, automation, and the 80-20 principle, the book provides practical strategies to maximize productivity and minimize input. It encourages us to embrace geo-arbitrage and location independence, opening up a world of travel and adventure. It presents a blueprint for a lifestyle that revolves around our interests and passions rather than a nine-to-five grind. It teaches us the art of time management, fear setting, and the importance of continuous learning and experimentation. Thank you for joining us today. If you're ready to break free from the conventional work model, the four-hour work week might be just what you need.